Hey there gamers, Purple Druid here with an update on the Dungeon 24 project. Oh my goodness, this has not gone the way I wanted. But that's because I have ADD really bad and can't stick to any idea for any kind of extended period of time. So we've decided to start over and we're going to rearrange things a little bit. What I've done is I have stolen the map from the Temple of Horrendous Doom, from the Knights of the Dinner Table. And uh, we're going to call it the Lost Library of the First Men. This dungeon uh, appeared in the comic, and I did a little screen grab and drew it out on graph paper. This is the first level. Um, however, I'm going to steal one of the little conceits from the Knights of the Dinner Table, but the rest of the module, um, or the dungeon, is going to be a faction versus faction battleground. So I have some ideas on how this will play out. And if you'll bear with me, uh, I have done a couple more maps. So this is level two, which goes on two sheets. So there's that. And then I have level 2A, which is actually an upper level, which is above level 1. And then I'm not sure if you can really see this, but this is a sort of a sketch, a schematic of how these levels are going to be played out. And I have some fun ideas that I'm stealing from Veins in the Earth um, to make this a really interesting dungeon to make. I'm sure it will be an interesting dungeon to play, but uh, it's the creation part that has to grab my attention. Now, the tools that I'm using, Random Dungeons and Layers by Dr. Tim Woods. Uh, this has some great tables in it for things that you find, smells, sounds, what rooms were designed for, uh, different monsters, who are the original builders, that sort of thing. Really great resource. I highly recommend it. Do you need it? No, but it's nice to have, and frankly, it's indispensable for this kind of, uh, shall we call it, mass production of a dungeon. Also, um, the dungeon itself is being designed for Blue Home, um, primarily because the Holmes set is really my favorite. I don't know. I just have, I just have a, a, a feeling for it. Um, However, it's just, it's so incomplete and it needs so much other stuff. So I am doing a lot of thinking about this and there may be some more, uh, there may be something we can do with it. I'm not sure. But again, Blue Home is where we're at. The Tome of Adventure Design, this is the first edition book. I haven't got the second edition, um, but this is really great too. This has a ton of awesome tables for putting things together and creating inspiration. I love rolling on these tables and coming up with a lot of weird things, and then you get to figure out how to combine them. Now, also as a resource, I'm using Low Fantasy Gaming. Uh, this is by Stephen Grozicki. This is a great book. I did a two-year campaign with this, and it has some really cool resources, especially regarding uh, different types of monsters. And then... Uh, there are a couple, there are some really cool treasure charts in here. So I'm using the treasure charts out of these. And then finally, I put together, this is my own resource that I had put together for the Weirth campaign. This is Dungeon Monsters and Treasures. And this is just a blank sketchbook. And I have inserted some different things in here. Rules that I made, rules uh, taken from BASIC, uh, from BX, I should say. Um, throwing some things in here, you know, your, your treasure tables, the dungeon design tables, random monsters, that sort of thing. So again, just a lot of resources all in one place uh, for treasures. Um, we have here miscellaneous treasures. I found this online, tuck that in there. Um, random table, weird things, a D100 table of weird things you can find in rooms. This is great, great resource here. So those are the resources that I'm using to create this dungeon. And like I said, I've got the first, essentially, four months worth of dungeons done. So I'm ahead of the game on that. I just have to catch up on 
the keys. I also printed out these Dungeon Geomorphs, and I think I'm going to have some fun with these. Um, I think I'm going to cut them out and draw them, uh, turn them upside down and draw them randomly to determine some of the, look at this, this is great. All those little rooms and doors, fantastic. Uh, but I'm going to use this for randomly generating some of the lower levels uh, to give it that real old school feel. And so finally then, here's the book that I'm keeping everything in. Uh, I needed some more space. I just I had so much trouble last year trying to keep it into that little tiny calendar. Um, so what I've done is I've taped in the first level of the dungeon here, so that way when it's open and I'm running the dungeon, I have the map here and then the key. I continue to turn the pages and I have the key right there so that everything is nice and handy. Um, one of the fun things is that while the rest of the dungeon's not built yet, I do have, I'm building in some references, some foreshadowing, if you will. Uh, so things are going to be left blank for a little bit uh, until they get filled in later on. And so basically what will happen is each level will have its own section. Uh, we are up to, where are we up to? Room 25 out of looks like 48 so basically this is going to be the january and february portion of uh, the key and then we'll get into march and april with any luck by the end of april i'll be all caught up and back on schedule so then i will start doing these on a daily basis um, but right now i've been working on this for most of the last week and having a lot of fun with it, especially because everything is so random. Um, I have to say, you know, I, I like the random tables. I like the random charts. I just don't like generating random stuff, you know, for a whole session at the table. So I'm, I'm not a zero prep guy. I'm definitely a prep guy, but, uh, you know, something like this, a mega dungeon that's going to be multi floors and, you know, your players can drop from the first level down to the seventh level. You need to have at least something prepared in advance. So that's where we are with that. Um, any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and uh, share this with your friends. Thanks for watching and keep on gaming.